Hey guys, we, um, we're working on another project. We had some uh, pretty well north wind last night, some nasty wind. And I noticed my chain plate was leaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on removing and rebedding this chain plate. And I kind of wanted to go over what I'm doing. These things move so much from uh, just from the tension from the sit sailing and the rocking of the boat. I did this when I first bought the boat, and I've used butyl butyl tape, um, you know, to seal around these chain plates. But it's uh, obviously gotten where it leaks again, and I'm just gonna redo it. I guess I don't know. You have to redo it every year. I think it's been three years. I think that's a pretty good time to uh, last quite a while for that. So I'm all right with doing it once every three years. I don't know what else you can put on there, but some of it, some things you can't put on with, um, you wouldn't want to put 5200 because you wouldn't be able to get the thing back out. So I'm just going to rebed it, take my time here. One thing I do not like is having water come in the boat. But we're gonna see what this looks like under here. I don't think it's leaking from underneath here. I think it's leaking from where the plates are because they move up and down and up and down. But we're still just gonna replace it. Replace the butyl. I don't know if you can see that. See right there. Also decided this would be a good time to go ahead and check my chain plates for any uh, damage. So, trying to get all of the uh, residue off of this so that uh, that new that new butyl will have a place to adhere. I don't want to wipe it down with any chemicals or anything that are going to put a residue on it. I don't know if uh, alcohol-based stuff would have residue in them or not. But, but I'm going to just sit here and clean these up I'm using a Scotch Brite. Seems to be doing an okay job. So I'm gonna get that done. All right. So I got everything pretty cleaned up. I'll probably go over it a little more before. Now I'm taking a bead, of this butyl, about that big, and I'm gonna stretch it out to make it big enough to fold all the way around the chain plate. And when I put this on, I'm gonna put the opening toward the downhill side so water can't come in this way just in case I have a, a small gap in between there at least the water won't go through it still gonna pinch them together on the end where they go where they touch 
and that should uh, once this plate goes down, it'll it'll compress it into all the gaps. So I'm making it long enough to go all the way around the chain plate where the ends will touch on the other and I can push it together and hopefully seal any, seal any gaps or future leaks. screws back in tighten them up should be good to go for another three years I hope I'm gonna put all the screws in and I'm gonna tighten them up one at a time all the way around and get them uh, kind of compress them all at the same the same speed so that I get an even compression this butyl is gonna squeeze out of the holes fill any gaps and then I can remove the excess guys so I got my plates in tighten my screws up the best I can it's a little cool today so the uh, the butyl's a little stiffer than normal but you can see it's already squeezed squeezed out between it's starting to here screws are still in right so here you know I don't know if you can see right up against the uh, chain plate it's a little bead of that coming out same with right here. So I've got the screws tightened and I'm gonna let that continue to compress. Uh, it'll fill up all the gaps and everything and then I'll come back and I'll let them tighten up the screws so it will be a little loose. It's a little cool today so the, uh, the butyl's a little stiffer than normal but it'll take a while. It'll, it'll continue to ooze out of the sides and fill in the gaps. And then I'll tighten up the screws and clean off my excess. That's pretty much it on doing the bedding of the uh, chain plates. I'm gonna jump over and start the other side. I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. All right, so I got the second side done and I've let it set up and tighten. And you can see how this uh, butyl has been pushed out from under that plate. So it's gonna fill in all the cracks. You can see it up around the chain plate there. And I think that's gonna give us a good seal. All right, guys. Appreciate you watching our videos, man. Y'all have a good day. But that's pretty much it on doing our... So I'll let this uh, set up and um, 
continue to to shift around in there until it's uh, you know completely uh, 